You're live on Joy News today in our first story. Late Flights Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings will be buried on the 27th of January 2021. Government through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration has announced the 24th to 26th of January as a new date for funeral rites to be conducted as a conference center. Let's share further details of that statement with you as we have it. And that's it on your screen. It says that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration of the Republic of Ghana presents its compliments to all diplomatic missions, international organizations, and honorary consulates accredited to the Republic of Ghana and with reference to the former's the formers note verbal number PRCIRD dated 16th December 2020, informing of the postponement of the funeral arrangements for the late Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, former President of the Republic of Ghana. And they say we have the honor to inform of the new dates for the funeral and burial rites of the late former President as follows. Laying states from 24th to 26th of January 2021 as the foyer of the Accra International Conference Center from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Mass on 26th January 2021 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Holy Spirit Cathedral, Accra, and the burial service on the 27th of January 2021 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. as the Independence Square, Accra. Now it says the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration of the Republic of Ghana avails itself of this opportunity to renew to all diplomatic. Uh, missions, international organizations, and honorary consulates um, accredited to the Republic of Ghana, the assurances of its highest consideration. Of course, the former president, Jerry John Rawlings, passed um, last year in December. Uh, in a very, very unfortunate incident after um, a short illness, according to family members. He, his death literally brought the nation to a standstill as we had tributes flowing in from all walks of life, from all persons in and outside of the country who shared their fond memories of former President Jerry John Rawlings. Of course, the flight lieutenant is credited for being the longest serving president in the country's history. He is also credited to have staged the last coup d'etat in the country. In 1992, he ushered Ghana into its longest um, stretch of democratic rule, ushering in the Fourth Republic. And it's under the Fourth Republic that we have seen the most development in the country.